Hi, I'm Tracy Cardwell from LP Seminelli and the host of the Buffalo Public Schools Renovation Program, Making It Happen. We've got another great show in store for you today. Our uh, student spotlight for this month is Kyle Jamison. Kyle is a 2008 McKinley High School graduate and he's also a past member of LP Seminelli Construction Connections ACE program, which is now known as TEAM. Kyle now works for D.V. Brown. He is such a hard worker and such a great kid. I can't wait for you to meet him. We are continuing this month with our question and comment segment. And uh, this month we have some great comments and some great questions. And last but not least, we're going to go and visit one of our compliance monitors, uh, Inclusion Development Associates Incorporated President Rhonda Ricks. Rhonda's going to give us some insight on her role as a compliance monitor for the Buffalo Public Schools and just an overall view of uh, what steps a compliance monitor needs to take when reporting diversity numbers or goal numbers. So I'm so glad you tuned in today. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Hi, we're back and guess what? We are at Riverside Institute of Technology and I'm standing here with LP Simonelli's project manager, Tom Renato. Tom, thank you so much you know, for allowing us to come here today and tour the school again. And I have to say, I am so excited about being here because it was almost a year ago to date. That's right. That we were here and we, you know, saw the beginning, well, not the beginning stages. Well, maybe it was, I don't know, but it was just so exciting then. So I know what we're going to see today is going to be even more exciting. Well, welcome back. Thank you. We've, we've come a long way this past year. Mm -hmm. uh, phase one was completed for the students to move in in September. Uh, we've been working on phase two. Uh, since that time, right. and we're going to be turning over phase two in about three to four weeks. That is so, so we're cool. very close to wrapping up. That's great. And I just want to mention that, um, and just to let the community know that Riverside is one of two schools that are still in the phase three category, mm -hmm. and that should be completed, you know, by September 2010. That's right. Okay, now what is it? Now I understand the reason for City Honors to still be under construction is because their renovations is so extensive. Mm -hmm. What's the reason behind um, Riverside still being in Phase 3? Well, the tricky part was we're still half occupied. Okay. Um, so we've actually um, renovated the school in two halves, keeping the students and all the staff and all the activities live while we're renovating half the school. All right, tell, tell our viewers what we're going to see today. Well, right now we're standing in the new uh, main entryway, mm -hmm. which has been uh, very much expanded and, and uh, very revised. Uh, to the right and to the left here, we have a uh, two-story uh, entryway. Okay. Uh, we put in two entries down below coming into the basement level, mm -hmm. and we've opened up this main uh, kind of atrium space, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, to be fully open. There's, uh, there used to be offices on each side. Right. We've taken those walls down and opened it right up. Right. So it's more of a grand entrance now. And it's very open. Let's talk about the lighting fixture because I did notice the lighting fixtures on one side of the building is so different from the other side. What's the story mm -hmm. behind that? Well, this was a, a design element uh, from Wendell Ducher, our mm -hmm. architect here. And essentially what you have is that there's a two-story trophy case right. that spans from the basement up to the first floor and connects into this new decorative ceiling that we have on the east side of the building. Okay. And the decorative ceiling uh, works its way all around the east half of the building and leads you as a kind of a, a, a pathway right. to the new addition out back. So you can follow this new decorative ceiling all the way to the new addition. That's pretty creative. Great, okay, now this is the weight room? That's the new weight room. The weight room, all right, let's yep. go and see what's going on in there. Okay. Well, actually, what we've got, there's a, a rubberized floor in there, so okay. it gives you some nice cushion. Mm -hmm. um, they've moved in all of their old weight equipment, Okay. but through a series of contacts and bids and other things, they're actually mm -hmm. just secured, um, I think it's about $170,000 worth of new equipment going wow. in there. Wow. So it's a, it's a huge score for the school. It's gonna be a gorgeous weight room with all the new shiny equipment. And the kids obviously love it. Okay, it's obvious where we are. 
in the locker room. Mm -hmm. First off, I love the colors. I love the brightness, the openness. Uh, tell us about it. More purple and gold. Yeah. This is the uh, the Riverside locker room for mm -hmm. the varsity sports team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we're directly below the weight room. Okay. So this is a ground floor level of the pavilion. Mm -hmm. um, just through the hallway here is a set of restrooms. And then they have an adjoining locker room on the other side, which is the JV locker room. That is so cool. They are so spacious. And then each locker room has its own coach's office. Yep, the coach's office is attached to each one. They have their own bathroom and shower in there as well. Wow, awesome. Okay, so can we go to the field now? Sure. All right, I'm excited. All right. Let's go. Okay, we are now outside on the field, and this is so awesome. Makes me want to, like, do a cartwheel or kick a field goal. I don't know, but it's just so beautiful. The colors, everything, it just pops. Tell us about it, Tom. It's, it's a pretty amazing field. Yeah. State of the art. It's uh, about the best field you can buy at this point in uh -huh. time. Um, synthetic field, mm -hmm. very low maintenance, mm -hmm. um, under drainage, under the whole thing. Wow. Um, it's just, this is, this is the crown jewel right here. Absolutely. And I'm loving the colors. I love the bright purple and, and gold BPS right in the center. Mm -hmm. And then off to the side, uh, it's, it's just beautiful. The lettering, everything, the details. Yeah, it really makes a statement out here and it's, it's the, the backdrop to the pavilion is just right. gorgeous. You can tell a lot of thought was put into this. Brand new lights, um, so be able to play night games here, which is one of the things that they've struggled with. Uh -huh. um, so it's one of the few fields that they can play night games. And this, when those lights are on, this place glows. Okay, <laughs> this is so cool, Tom. Now, we were just upstairs. Right. Okay, explain to us where we are now. Well, we've created two new entries, mm -hmm. which are handicap accessible entries okay. that come directly into the basement area. And we have a two-story entryway here. This is really nice. So this is a new um, new lobby. Mm -hmm. um, it's part of what the uh, superintendent will consider part of the entrepreneurial school. So yes. this will be after hours, a continuing education and so on. So they'll come in this entrance. This will be the main lobby for that. Tom, this has been a wonderful tour. I can't thank you enough, you know, for taking us around and showing us, you know, all of the cool work that you and, and your whole entire crew have been doing here. Thanks for coming back. We'd, we'd love to have you. Guess what? We're coming back too. <laughs> when we're having one more that, time. That's right. One more time. We got to see those students and the faculty, you know, when they walk through the doors and, and see all of the great things that's been done for them. You know, we've got to get that. Definitely. You know, that's priceless. Also want to tell the community that, you know, this is, like I said, one of two schools that are still in phase three, but phase four is thriving. It's building momentum. It's going on as planned. Everything is going great. So we're really excited overall about the uh, Buffalo Public Schools renovation project. Thanks again, Tom. All we'll right. see you in a couple of months. See you soon. All right. This month's student spotlight is Kyle Jamison. Kyle vividly remembers the day that his shop teacher recommended the ACE Mentor Program to him and a few other classmates. At the time, he was not quite sure what to expect, but decided to give it a try in his senior year. Little did he know that participating in the program would inevitably lead him to a rewarding career. Well, before entering the ACE Team Program, I uh, went to McKinley High School and uh, they had an exploratory building trades program. So um, I went through plumbing, carpentry, sheet metal and all that. And plumbing was the one that I felt was best for me. So I went through there and then I think it was my junior year, uh, my teacher, uh, he gave us the application for the ACE Team Program thing. So I said, I signed up for it, for that. And so when I got in, uh, I was a little skeptical about it, but um, as we went on and we went through the, uh, the different weeks, it was proven that it was a, it was a, a pretty legit program. It showed us all the different facets of the, the construction pro, uh, business. You had, you had uh, people who worked in the business and they also had uh, architects and even different uh, professors I never heard of before. And so that brought my horizons on the whole uh, construction thing that just wasn't plumbing, just in case that didn't work out. It gave me a lot of options I could go into. Through the L.P. Simonelli Construction Connections team program, formerly known as ACE, Kyle and other participants met once a month to hear from industry professionals and partake in hands-on activities. What Kyle most enjoyed about the experience was listening to the presenters and having the opportunity